Hello and welcome to your next tutorial in JavaScript. And today we're going to be talking about event handlers and buttons. Now, an event handler, basically what that is, is another way for you to control when a piece of code executes. And the most common event handler and most widely used is the on click. The best way for me to explain what these are is to just show you. Uh, so, um, basically, uh, all these different event handlers do not need to be inside JavaScript code. Instead, they're, they are an attribute of HTML tags. So, for an example, in my body, I can add in an on click, and, this, and the words are all, um, each word in these event handlers are always capitalized except for the on. So I just type in on and then capital C L I C K. And notice how the text turns red. And basically I make an equal sign with a pair of quotes. And your JavaScript, the JavaScript code that you want to execute goes in between these quotes. Now the reason why I'm teaching you this after teaching um, right after teaching you functions is because you never never want to just write out all the JavaScript information that you want to have execute uh, uh, in HTML tags. You want to just type out the function name and then refer to that function. So I'm going to create a pair of script tags up here. You know what? I'll just use the, you, you know, I, I know I said I shouldn't do this, but I'll just create the script. Uh, I'll just use these script tags down here. So I'll create a function called uh, example. And basically, I'll have it create an alert box. And what should we have it say? Uh, don't touch me. Bunch of exclamation points. Now, what this onclick handler does is whenever you click this element right here, so this is just the body it will execute whatever is inside these quotes. So I can put the function name in here. So I will type in example and that is it. Notice how this is not within the script tags. Don't worry, it does not need to be. So you can just click save and then when I refresh the page and then click the body of this file, I say, don't touch me. All right. Yes, sir, Mr. President. No, no, no. Okay. Um, and yeah, that's the on click event handler. I should probably show you a better example outside of script tags. Let's create an image. And what should its source be? I'll use my. Haven't. Uh, you guys have not seen this guy in a while. Well, you will again today. Give it an alternate name of Smiley, and I'll just end it there. You can also give an on click to the images as well, to image tags. So I could say on click. As soon as I click the image, again, I could have the example function execute. So I'll click save, and you know what? Just to show you that, because it's still within the body, so this would still execute. So I'll get rid of this. And then I'll refresh the page, and now we have our smiley. And when I click it, don't touch me. But when I click anywhere else, oh, see, I kind of highlighted. Um, yeah, it's only when you click the smiley that the alert box uh, pops out on. And yeah, that's about it for the on click event handler. And you, you can just use it within any set of HTML tags and then refer to the function of which the information you want to execute. Now, the next one is the on load. So the onload will most likely always be put in either your header tags or your body tags. I'll just put in put them in in, in uh, my body tags. And this all other words after on are capitalized, so the load will be capitalized. And let's create another function. So I'll just copy this and create another function, and I'll call it. I'll just call it load. Why not? And I'll I'll just create a, an alert that says, "Welcome to this site." Whoa, misspelled it. 
I'll click save and the onload as you could have guessed as soon as it loads this function that I didn't write yet uh, this message will pop up so I'll click save and when I refresh the page and I'll take my mouse off so you know I'm not doing anything now it says welcome to this site and when I click the image I still get the don't touch me the next one the next event handler and there's actually a few others that I won't that I won't be showing you they're not used as much but there's only two more that I'll show you in this tutorial and that's the on mouse over the on mouse out and I actually forgot one on unload I'll show you I'll show you the, the on unload as well anyways um, let's do the mouse over so what this does is it executes a piece of code when your mouse uh, goes over some uh, element, some HTML element. Now you don't want it to be the body because every time you move around, every time you go back onto the body, that it's gonna happen again and again. So let's mess with the image instead. So let's make it instead of on click, on mouse over. So when I click save and then refresh the page, as soon as I go over it, oh, it's I got the welcome to the site. And I go over, it just went right over. And still says the same piece of code. There's also the next one to teach is the, and remember, you can use these for any kind of tags paragraph tags, the h1 through h6, your tables, forms, whatever. You can use them for all of them. The next one is the on mouse out, and this is pretty much the opposite. You can put your cursor over the picture, but then when you leave it, then that message will pop up. So I'll refresh the page again and I'll go on the image and when I leave it, there it is. Now the last one I'm going to show you is the on unload. So basically it's just on unload. I should probably make that lowercase, there we go. And what this does is when basically when you're leaving the site, it will execute a piece of code. So I would actually You know what? I'll create a confirm box instead. Whoops. And it'll say Now this this wouldn't really work anyways because it's not a it's not an official pop-up. It's just a confirm box. So whether you click okay or cancel it won't matter. But I'll just say just for fun, are you sure you want to leave? Not that it's going to make a difference. So on unload of the body, it'll execute wrong one. I'll make this one called, I'll just call it un unload. And I'll call this function unload. So first of all, I'm going to create another tab. Now I'm going to refresh this one. And then when I close it, now we're not on that page anymore. So that special little box doesn't pop up anymore. This is the kind of window that you would normally see in Internet Explorer, I believe it is but it still says are you sure you want to leave but because this wasn't an official you know like a pop-up or whatever it didn't matter we already left so it so it doesn't matter what you click as I said before uh, now I just close this whole thing and reopen I, I won't reopen it yet I want to get rid of the on, on unload but anyways that's about it for that now the last thing I'd like to show you is creating a generic button now we've created different buttons before I'm gonna Remember, I'm staying within my HTML tags, but outside my script tags. We've made different types of buttons before. And basically, it was the submit and reset. We did these with forms. But there's actually another type of button that you can create, and that's just a generic button. So you just call it button instead of reset or submit. You just call it button. And the value, what that is, is whatever text will appear on the button. So I'll just have it say click here then you can put add an, an event handler to these uh, almost, uh, any button any button on any website the only reason why they work is because they have an event handler so I'll throw in an on click and I'll create I'll, I'll change the example I'll change it to thank you for listening to me because you know, because the button is saying click here, so it'll say thank you for listening to me. Makes sense, right? And I'll have it load, and I don't think that was a... Oh, whoops. Equals. And then I'll have it go through the example function. 
So I'll click save and we're now going to see our button. So here it is, no HTML tags to, you know, center it or anything. It just says click here. So that's the value, not the name, the value. And on click, oh, make sure you guys can see it. And it says, thank you for listening to me. And that's about it. That's about it for uh, five different event handlers, I believe I showed, right? Yeah, five of them. Uh, and you, the generic button in which you can then execute whatever code you want, whenever you want. And that's about it for this tutorial. I'll see you next time.